Good morning, everyone. My name is Kathleen Finlayson, and um, I work with uh, Professor Helen Edwards and Associate Professor Christina Parker in the Wound Healing Research Team in the School of Nursing at Queensland University of Technology in Australia. Um, and our little snippet of information we'd like to really talk about is preventing recurrence of leg ulcers. So if you've already had one um, leg ulcer caused by uh, venous disease in your legs, you actually have, you know, over half, over 50% chance of having another one within the next 12 months after your first one heals. And so it's really important to take active measures to try and prevent the next one from occurring. So we're just starting to do a lot of, of research here and around the world, um, which is really helping us to find factors that we can pick up much earlier in the piece so that we can tell whether you're at very high risk of um, having another ulcer recurrence or not. And one thing we can do is look for these signs, early signs, and check your lower limbs, your ankles, skin on your lower legs every day for signs. Um, and if you notice any changes in your lower legs that you're worried about and you realise that's not um, your normal or your optimal level for your um, legs, then please go and see your health professional as soon as possible so that we can put in preventive measures. So some things we've noticed have been in our studies have been really indicative of a high risk of having another ulcer again soon, as if you notice that your, the swelling in your ankles or your lower legs is increasing. Keep a really close eye on them. Um, so if you notice the ankles looking a bit bigger, if you notice your shoes are getting a bit tighter, you can see indents in your feet and lower legs after you've been standing up for a while, um, then it's probably a good indication that you um, need to go and seek a little bit of help to try and um, keep that under control. You might see redness on your legs or eczema, so it might be itchy, scaly um, eczema. And again, this is caused by the venous disease and the um, and the pressure in your veins in your lower leg. You might notice that they're just aching more um, than usual at the end of the day. So all of these are great um, signs that we are not keeping your um, venous insufficiency under control and that it would be useful to contact someone to try and um, put some other additional measures in place. What are things that you can actually do in the meantime um, to help prevent it? We know that if you keep those ankles and those lower legs moving, um, the, the better your circulation in your lower legs. So um, it doesn't matter how you do this, whether you're walking, um, if you are limited to a chair, um, you can still um, do ankle circles um, while your feet are seated. Um, when you're making a cup of tea, you might be able to just hang onto the bench there and do some heel raises, really trying to get the circulation going in those lower legs. If you have been prescribed um, compression socks or hosiery, um, make sure that you're wearing them and um, make sure that you know how to check whether they're still effective or not. Um, ask your health professional to show you how to tell. Um, and remember that they need to be replaced every three to six months. So um, good to check them regularly. Pop your legs up, um, preferably above the level of your hips. So um, you can see a picture there of someone lying on the couch with their feet elevated on some pillows. And for half an hour, an hour a day, try and um, get that circulation out of your lower legs back up into your heart. But again, make sure you check with your health professional before you do this, um, particularly if you have any issues with heart problems. Have a regular checkup with your legs. So um, every six to 12 months, if you actually go and get a health professional in your leg ulcer clinic or whoever's looking after your venous issues to check for signs of, of improving or maintenance or um, or that it's, it's um, starting to break out again. Really important to go for a checkup every six to 12 months. Just some reference there at the end if you would like some further information. 